Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Ethan and I'm not driving this car. In fact, you could say this Mazda isn't even driving itself. What is driving it? The Comma 3. So what is the Comma 3? Well, the Comma 3 is actually the product from the company Comma AI. And so what it is, is basically a consumer electronic device that has three cameras that are constantly monitoring the road around you. Two in the front and then one looking back into the cabin, which is a night vision camera. The device comes in three different storage options, a 32 gig, a 250 gig, and a one terabyte. And those are all just gonna be able to store your driving history on the device itself. It connects to the car through a wired OBD2 port. You also need to purchase a specific car harness for your car, which is gonna cost you about $200. There's two different modes to the Comma 3, chill and experimental. Currently, we're just in chill. So then the whole point of this video is what can it do in the 2023 Mazda CX-5? Well, it can do automatic lane centering, and then it can also see 360 degrees around the car. What that automatic lane centering means is that it's gonna be able to keep your car in the middle of the road while you're driving it. That includes going around turns and stuff like that. It's going to keep the car in the middle of the road. There are a few things that the Comma can control, but that are already included with the Mazda CX-5. That includes adaptive cruise control, automatically being able to start from a stop, and lane keep assist, which is kind of similar to what the Comma AI, Comma 3, is already doing. So now we're gonna talk about what can't it do. And just a quick disclaimer, this is specifically for the Mazda CX-5. The functionality of the Comma 3 kind of depends on the car that you're gonna be driving it in. It can't control accelerating or braking, so if there's a sharp curve that's coming up, it's gonna have you take over. If you're at an intersection, it can't turn right or left, so you're gonna be, have to be able to turn right or left at an intersection. So the CX-5 specifically doesn't have access to the experimental mode, and what that means is there's some reduced functionality in the car. So if it did have access to the experimental mode, then it could detect uh, stoplights and traffic lights. It's important to note that the software is actually there to do like the sharp turns and detecting stoplights, but the hardware in the CX-5 isn't there, and that's why it's not capable of accomplishing this within the CX-5. So now the big question, is it worth it? Well, it's a step up from what Mazda already has in the lane keep assist because it actually centers you within the lane as opposed to just kind of like bouncing you off either side. And if you're buying it, you're investing in Comma, the company, Comma AI. And so that's gonna support them and they'll be able to like make further developments within the software. But you don't really need to worry about that because it's an open source software. So even if the company goes under, it's still gonna be developed by other developers and stuff like that. But as far as, if, is it worth it? I'm not sure, honestly. It's, it's pretty cool. It's really nice to have, but it doesn't add much functionality that Mazda itself and the CX-5 doesn't already have, which is quite surprising at the price point. I think if you do a lot of highway driving, then it's definitely worth it and you should get it. And if you have about two grand sitting around. But if you're just poking around town and just kind of like going to the grocery store and stuff like that, not really going on the highway very often, then I honestly, I don't think it's worth it for you. So that's the Comma 3. Thanks guys so much for watching and don't forget to comment your thoughts on the Comma 3. I really wanna hear what you guys have to say. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.